Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Shannon Fox here, Devoted Patriots 2 channel. And if there was any doubt in anybody's mind before today that Ray Epps is a Fed, we now know for sure. The mainstream media is not talking about it, but what little coverage they are spouting about it in their news articles and things on when I googled uh, Ray Epps today, nothing but good coverage of Ray, Ray Epps. They have played him out to be the victim of the conspiracy theory right-wingers uh, that have put him in a situation to where he is the, um, I guess the victim is the best way I can put that. Uh, I'll show you here in a minute. We'll do a little bit of a uh, Google search, a Brave search. Make them up a little different on Google. I, I use Brave on my computer here. But <clears throat> as of today, FedApps, that's his new name as far as I'm concerned, Sentenced to no jail time. He got one year probation. I believe six months of that he'll be doing uh, adjudic or he'll be doing probably six months at best showing up once a month and then the other six months they'll just go ahead and get him, get his fees and take it off the books. Five hundred dollar fine and a hundred hours of community service. I bet you they make any none of this st stuff stick. This is uh, not justice, folks. No, no doubt about it. Uh, Ray Epps was not just an insider of oh, January 6th from the video footage that I know you've seen if you watch this channel. Uh, he's saying, we got to go into the Capitol, into the Capitol. That's when they called him a Fed the night before. Lots of footage of that stuff out there. There's a video, a little bit of video footage here as well that I'll show you. And for this one act alone, Ray X. Ray Epps, uh, I don't understand how he caught a probation uh, misdemeanor when everybody else around him, including the grannies that were escorted into the building by the police, got up to 22 years. People that weren't even there uh, that day, uh, Mr. Tario, that were just affiliates of some of the people there, got as much as 20 years. Now, there's a video here of... Uh, this guy right right here where the circle is, that's Ray Epps. Now, I've got a little bit of video footage. There's Ray Epps telling people, we got to go into the Capitol. Uh, Ray Epps was um, orchestrating the push and shove of the sign. You see here, the red circle, folks. That right there, that is Ray Epps. Let me pull it over a little bit right there. See that right there? That's Ray Epps. Now we're going to go ahead and play a little bit of this video, a real short clip. I apologize. Let me scroll down. There he is right there in his tan jacket. Push on that Trump 2024 sign. Right here about the 15 seconds. <laughs> accused that day, everybody that's in jail, everybody that has indictments against them, everybody that has been true billed, everybody that is going to be arrested, this guy is the one that gets off with the spank on the wrist, and he's not working with the government, he is not a government informant, he is not the FBI, I have to believe he is, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you something here real quick folks, uh, I thought it was pretty interesting, let me google something. Let's just let me show you what the left wing media is doing today. I just googled Ray Epps, breaking Ray Epps. And let's go ahead and we're going to scroll down here together. Now, some of these left wing pundits are liars, and then some of them are just misinformed. 
Uh, they've got all kinds of crazy conspiracies mm -hmm. of their own. Like Gray Epps was the uh, leader of the Oath Keepers. The, uh, just some crazy stuff. I had never heard that in all the things I'd heard about Ray Epps. But at any rate, folks, listen to... This is a summarization of Ray Epps. Ray Epps is a former Oath Keeper chapter president and was falsely accused of, by a conspiracy theorist, that's us Trump supporters, of being an undercover government agent sent to stoke the violence after the FBI declined to prosecute him, citing their lack of evidence. Yeah, the FBI didn't have the evidence. We just seen it right there on video, didn't we, folks? It says, uh, Ray Epps was sentenced for probation from Yahoo.com. And uh, let's see what it says here. It says, the former Arizona resident who was targeted by right-wing conspiracy theorists about the U.S., all right, we're going to go down, down here to the Daily Beast. Ray Epps, January 6th writer, targeted by conspiracy theorist, gets probation. Capital writer falsely accused of being double agent, sentenced to probation from The Guardian. Let me scroll down a little more for you folks. Yahoo News, Marine vet Ray Epps gets a year probation for his Capital Riot row. Former Arizona resident who was driven into hiding by death threats, pleaded guilty. Ray Epps, military veteran, Wikipedia, 18 hours ago, Epps was born in 1961, James, uh, James Ray Epps, uh, he was a Marine, uh, let's see what else it says, no specifics on him, on Ray Epps, too much about his life there. Um, January, this is from uh, C CNY Central. Never heard of those. January 6th conspiracy target Ray Epps sentenced to probation. Ray Epps, center of conspiracy theory, gets probation sentencing. Ray Epps, target of January 6th conspiracy theorists, sentenced. Man at the center of the right wing conspiracy theorists. Now, if you Google Ray Epps, as well, breaking news, Ray Epps, you'll get the exact same stories, but you'll get um, a different, the algorithm working differently because it's a different search engine, and you'll see the word victim under Google several times, victim uh, of the J6 conspiracy theorist, Ray Epps. So between the word victim on Google and uh, targeted uh, consp uh by conspiracy theorist over here on uh, Brave, and this is all today's stuff, this is all today's uh, reports, tells me that these folks know what time it is. They know he's a government agent. They've been told by their higher-ups, probably directly from our government or somebody in our government, that this is how this story plays out. And this didn't happen just today. This has happened a long time ago. There's a reason None of the media covers the Ray Epps story uh, when it comes to the real news, real honesty, real questions. Only a couple of stations out there even question who Ray Epps is. Most uh, networks, uh, places like Axios, New York Times, uh, all these crazy left-wing CNN type uh, rags, whether they be papers, uh, websites, or the whole nine yards, including the channels, uh, they're lying, and they're covering for Dre Epps, and they're making him out to be the victim. How many other people that went to jail that day, that were on those Capitol grounds that day, have been called a victim, or been called, or have been uh, labeled as targeted by Trump supporters? conspiracy theorist not one why because they're trying to cover up for this guy as much as the rest of them no doubt about it folks i just i see the writing on the wall if you had any doubt ray epps was a fed when a left-wing media covers for him a hundred percent uh the department of justice the fbi the court system covers for him 99.9 percent .9%. they would have never even 
I went down this path except for the fact that Congress was asking too many questions and that kind of forced their hand. And so they had to do something. So they give him a spank on the wrist, and that's going to be all she wrote for this story. He'll probably write books about it later and uh, make a killing. But at any rate, I um, had one more thing I want to talk to you all about today. Uh, kind of disgusting situation with uh, Mr. Ray Epps. Now, Trump is uh, dealing with his immunity thing in court today. Uh I don't know how this is going to go. There's been all kinds of speculations. Uh, lawyers have thrown out these hypothetical things that if Trump wanted to use SEAL Team 6 to assassinate somebody and then uh, bow out of the presidency, would he still have immunity? Just some stupid scenario stuff. Um, who knows how this is going to go, the immunity deal. But until we find out, I'll keep you uh, apprised. In the meantime, I just won't, won't discuss it until we actually... Find out some real news about it, some real, uh, real answers. Now, let's see here. I had one more article I want to read y'all. One of my favorites here, Benny Johnson. It's on the Gateway Pundit today. It says, uh, journalist reveals that Clinton's connection and reason why the big fish elites who have visited Jeffrey Epstein, uh, Island, and are, are not facing charges. This is why the big fish don't go to jail. And this is a crazy, crazy story here. You got to listen to the details, folks. It says several, several prominent people have been named in documents so far, including Prince Andrew, Michael Jackson, Thomas Pritzker, Leonardo DiCaprio, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. But nothing has happened to any of these individuals for, from a legal perspective. Uh, Seamus Bruner, a journalist from Florida, has now revealed the reason why powerful figures who visited Epstein's island will never likely see jail. Now let's go ahead and get into the video, folks. This is crazy. That's right. If there's an illegal arms deal, then you charge both both entities, right? There's the dealer, and then there's the people buying, and the dealer wouldn't have any... The dealer needs a customer... The customer is also committing a crime. It's all illegal. And so you 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 sanction both of them or you you blow both of them. You know, like you go after both of them militarily, depending on what the trade is, even if it's just a drug deal. The using of the drugs is also illegal. The drug dealer has no he has no business unless there's a user. Right. And maybe he creates the user uh, through those practices. Either way, the user is a part of that transaction and deserves to also be charged in order to shut the entire thing down. Right. Yeah, exactly right. And uh, it, there's actually another Clinton connection here. I mean, when Bill Clinton was president, uh, it, his Department of Justice, it was Eric Holder, the deputy attorney general at the time, came. Uh, he basically set it up so that all of the big fish will never fry, uh, whether it's this or other huge scandals. If you wonder why the big mm -hmm. fish never seem to get caught, they never seem to fry, it's because Eric Holder, when he was in the uh, President Clinton administration, he drafted this memo that reigns supreme at DOJ to this day. It's called the Collateral Consequences Memo. And this memo, I mean, it cannot be overstated how bad this thing is. What it basically said, and it's the policy at the Justice Department, is if the collateral consequences, if the, if the consequences of prosecuting someone uh, have big ripple effects and it can and take down the system. I mean, you were talking about it earlier. The whole system, this could bring down the whole system. And yes. so the collateral consequences memo that Eric Holder drafted uh, says that if the the consequences could bring down the system, it's best not to prosecute. And so you that rat bastard, that is a horrible law. That is a horrible writ. That is uh, damage control in efforts to prevent damage from happening. It's a preventive maintenance, I guess is the best way to put that. But Jesus, that is crooked as could be. Uh, Eric Holder is a criminal, and this is not a good idea. Uh, this is a horrible idea. This is, this is a big reason why these agencies have this umbrella of immunity is because certain people, once they get so high up in the elite circles, they don't get messed with for anything because it may affect the inner circle. And I believe that is absolutely true. I have no reason to doubt this man. Um, crazy stuff, but yeah, 
That sounds like our government. So you can bet that that memo is actually what prevents the DOJ in a lot of ways saying, well, it's actually best that we sweep this under the rug. We'll give immunity agreements. You see this uh, like when Hillary Clinton's emails come out and uh, all of her staff have to testify against her. They give them immunity agreements and everybody gets hit with an immunity immunity agreement. And so the DOJ and the FBI, they find out what's going on. They gain the control and the leverage over people, but then they never prosecute. And so that memo needs to be thrown out. Uh, so that we can really bring down Burn the system in a lot of ways, the corrupt, That's amazing. rotten, decaying system. I've heard, I've heard of this. It's up on, it's up on screen right now. Um, I've, I've, I've heard of this. I need to go in harder on this memo. You're exactly right. Like what? Th- so this was written during the Clinton era by Eric Holder. Remarkable. Jeez. And then this, of course, uh, applies to the Bidens. This, of course, applies to, to. Jo- so the elites can do whatever they want. This is, this literally is Free the pass. protection of the elites. And they go after Donald Trump for literally not recycling his soda pop can, his can of Diet Coke, because he's not one of them. He didn't engage in these immoral practices. He wasn't part of the club. He helped put, he's the only guy who put Jeffrey Epstein in prison, right? He like helped the lawyer to put him in jail. And so that's why they go, there's no collateral consequences for going after Trump. That's what you can deduce from this. Yeah, exactly right. It's basically during the Clinton administration, they wrote a perpetual, endless, get out of jail free card for themselves with no expiration date. And yeah, I mean, Donald Trump is a threat to the system, so he must be prosecuted. He must yes. be taken out. Wow. He's like a, like a virus and the entire system is a, an immunity system. Uh, you know, it's like an immune system attacking mm-hmm. the virus, uh, mm-hmm. not to call Donald Trump a virus, but, uh, you know, it works like that. They are all from the media to Hollywood to corporate America to both parties. They are attacking him with like relentless force because he's a threat to their system. Incredible. Crazy stuff, folks. Uh, shocking news, but not unexpected. Uh, it's just, it's good to hear it out loud. It's sad to know that that's what's really going on. Uh, blackmailing people, uh, uh, tra- human trafficking, uh, Every kind of trafficking of everything you can imagine, uh, from drugs to pe- to human beings for all all purposes. Um, fake um, prosecutions, uh, investigations, uh, lying media, covering for everybody on one end of the stick, by going after everybody else on the other end of the stick, and it all boils down to. If you're part of that old country club uh, on uh, Pennsylvania Avenue, and it's not necessarily just a Democrat thing, it is a uh, politician thing, and Donald Trump is probably the furthest thing we've ever had in this country, running the country, as far as politicians go. I wouldn't say Donald Trump was a politician, I think he was a businessman, and uh, he didn't need their money, he didn't need the fame. Uh, the fortune he actually didn't need anything from this country when he ran to be president so he ran for the right reason and that was to try to fix what's broken to try to help where he could when he could try to get us off the the teat of china and uh, so many other bad business deals that we were involved in that he started changing immediately the minute he got into office and so we we know uh, what kind of president Trump is, Trump was, uh, Trump will be, and that is why they hate him so much. It's not just because they don't know what's coming out of his mouth next, because that's part of it. It's because they don't own him. They don't control him. The puppet masters don't want anybody dancing without strings attached. Don't want anybody making waves and doing things, saying things, changing things without permission from the people at the top. And Donald Trump, being a top-level player, didn't take no crap from nobody, not even world leaders. And uh, that's one of the things that made him the bigger man, one of the best presidents we've ever had, if not the best president we've ever had, in my opinion. And uh, this Epstein stuff, Thank God Donald Trump got an office or Epstein would still be in business. I think about this a lot lately. 
uh, the Clintons would have never prosecuted Epstein. Epstein would still be in business today, uh, probably bigger and larger and more corrupt than he was even back then. Uh, he would still be living in one of his six different properties, uh, flying people all over the world in order to get the hookup with the teenagers. Thank God Trump not only cooperated with the lawyer, has been exonerated by Miss Joffrey today, and uh, never had a good thing to say about Jeffrey Epstein. And he's the one that got his Department of Justice, or not his Department of Justice, his, uh, his backing behind the prosecutors in Florida to actually push this to get Epstein uh, exposed and eventually locked up. Now, what happened after that, I can't speak for the Clintons. But at any rate, it is what it is. Uh, like, subscribe, and share to the Patriots. Everybody have a great day. Um, good news, bad news, a little bit in between, uh, and always a little bit of exposure. Right here, folks, to go to Patriots 2 channel. Everybody have a great day, like I said, and uh, stay warm, folks. We got a, looks like a bad weather spell coming for three quarters of the United States. ASAP. Over and out. God bless.